are busy here at 6 o'clock, and we are continuing to follow the breaking news from Northeast Philly here. There's been a third arrest made in last week's mass shooting of eight Northeast High School students at a SEPTA bus stop. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell. Let's get right out to Steve Keeley. He's live in the Northeast. So, Steve, walk us through how U.S. Marshals captured this third suspect. Well, sources told me around lunchtime they expected imminent arrest of suspects three and four and they were right on the money so here we are on one of the main roads through philadelphia at one of the main intersections academy just about five doors off of woodhaven road and there's an, a two apartment row house here and there you see it one two zero two four academy road this is where Jermod carter's father lives and he said he answered the door to machine guns after 4 o'clock as police came looking for their son. Sources tell me the whole family was out in the backyard enjoying a nice day at the time. And so when they were knocking at the door, no one was answering at first. And then the father did answer the door. Here is video now of Jermaine Carter being taken into custody by marshals and the task force that also includes a whole lot of Philadelphia police detectives who've been looking for him for nearly a week since the Wednesday shooting so this makes three of the four they wanted you remember three shooters and a fourth getaway driver they wanted to get all four so the father told me Jermont Carter just turned 18 authorities who took him into custody say he is 19 with a birth date listed for this October 1st born in 04 which would make him nearly 20 years old come October here is some of what his father had told me earlier after the arrest what can you tell me happened with your son I don't know. I just came to the door and some machine guns. You came to the door and they had machine guns in your face? What did they say to you? They just brought me outside. So remember, there were three guns used, a 40 caliber, a 45 caliber, and a 9 millimeter. Yesterday, police outlined one of the guns and how powerful it was. Now, you're looking at pictures now that I obtained from law enforcement sources of Jermard Carter sitting here on the front steps of his dad home with marshals talking to him and detectives talking to him. So here is another video that I took, and this is the team of detectives leaving after executing their search warrant. And you'll notice one of the lead detectives carrying that brown paper bag. Sources tell me they found a, another gun. Now here's the question, was that one of the guns used? Well, they'll have to forensically test that gun, but they're pretty confident that they may have found a second of the three guns used to shoot those eight students at that bus stop last Wednesday, waiting for their bus home from North East Philadelphia High School. So Sheba, Jason, uh, they are moving fast in this investigation. They were confident yesterday. That's why they didn't put Mr. Carter's name or the fourth man wanted his name out because they thought they didn't need the public's help or any tips just yet. And boy, they were right on the money. Less than a day later, they get their man. Right there. All right. And we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock as things could change between now and then. Steve, thank you very much.